Hey, don't forget the water too, okay? All right, guys. So, welcome to today's video. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit emotional. Um, something big's happening. Um, so, pretty much, Casey and I we've decided we've been we decided on this a long time ago, but I kind of wanted to shock everyone and uh, kind of deliver it to you guys in this manner. Um, Casey and I we sold our house. Um, we sold our dogs. Um, I sold an Aka. Um, Sold everything, honestly. We just decided to uproot and just, just travel and, and leave everything back in Houston. Um, we're moving to a new country. Um, we're starting fresh. We just we kind of felt like our time in Houston was kind of drying up and it was coming to an end. So um, we don't know where we're going. And we do know where we're going, but we don't know where or how we're gonna start. And um, it's just gonna be a fresh start, guys. Um, pretty sad, pretty scared, I'm not gonna lie. I mean who fucking sells everything and just moves to another country like that. It's, it's pretty wild. But um, I have Faith, I have Samuel with me. Um, we're gonna book him a one-way ticket back after we settle and everything. You guys are gonna watch the, you guys are gonna, we're gonna document the entire process of us moving into our new home and everything. And we're gonna send him back afterwards. But um, yeah guys, I'm grateful and thankful for you, thankful for you guys for making this happen. Um, hope you guys will enjoy this journey. Um, it's a fresh start. But like I said, I have no doubt in my mind we'll make it work. To, to Mila, to King, to all my friends back in Houston, Christian, Max, Russell, I love you guys. I'm sorry you guys have to find out this way. I know it's not formal to do it through a YouTube video, standing in the middle of an airport, but I just didn't know how to how I would explain to you guys that I was moving and getting rid of everything in Houston. So um, to Max and Russell, or actually to, to, to Max, um, I love you, man. Uh, you know, just 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 cut it off. Just, just start crying. Double up, three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time humble us. Double up. I ain't telling no lies. I just yeah. I ain't telling no lies. I just five, four, three, two. That's time. I got to you. That money. My dreams come true. My life in diamonds. Who knew? Who knew? Alright guys, so we made it to Cabo and obviously we're having a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna get straight to the point. I am a solid six out of ten right now. I think by the end of this doc this uh, podcast, not this podcast, by the end of this QA, I'm probably gonna be a solid seven point five to eight. I hope. Hope meaning I hope I don't go over that. So we're gonna be doing a QA, something to uh, kind of get you guys to know us and know each one of us more and closer. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, <laughs> hopefully this is entertaining to you guys if you're watching this This video will be going up tomorrow, which is Wednesday So maybe after work or something like that you're at home chilling and you want to watch something Drinking together. a glass of wine. Drinking a glass of wine. You want to laugh a little bit. You want to learn a little bit about me and Casey Hopefully this answers all your questions. So we're gonna hop straight into it. We got some margaritas. We got some tequila Another margarita. She has a, some tequila and then she has a mojito. A mojito. So, first up, we're gonna take eight shots. So this is actually four shots in one. Wait, we're not taking the whole thing. No, we're not gonna take the whole thing. <laughs> That'll be alcohol poisoning. So <laughs> we're gonna take one shot first. We're gonna engage it on our mouths with our mouths and take one shot, and then we're gonna continuously take more shots. So. I just spilled it all over myself. It's fine. Oh god. A wrap. Alright. Mm -hmm. We got Samuel. <laughs> the wonderful Samuel Solis. On the other end of the camera. Asking those questions and stuff. So he's gonna make it juicy. I figured if I picked the questions, I wouldn't ask I wouldn't ask myself or ask us questions that I'd like to answer. So I figured this would be the best thing to do. So enjoy. All right. So first question. Who made the first move, you or Casey? Should I answer that? Sure. 
So I, I definitely made the first move. So what I did, and she called, she didn't find out about this until like a couple six of months. months later. So six or <laughs> six months later, I, so guys, take notes, bring out your notepads. I was on Instagram one day, and I've known Casey since like, like middle school. And um, I was on Instagram one day, and she posted a photo, and I thought she looked amazing. I was in Vegas. I thought she friends. looked amazing. She posted a photo of herself in Vegas. She was about to go out. She was wearing a nice little dress. And I noticed that she, I, I saw that she looked amazing. I was scrolling down my feed, saw that she looked amazing, and I was like, hmm, how can I let her know that I think she's attractive without me saying that to her, saying that to her directly? So I said, hmm, what if I acted like I was sending a DM or sharing her photo with my guy friends, like my, my group message with my friends on, on Instagram, but I mistakenly sent it to her. So what I did was I clicked the share button and I tagged Casey as a, as the what's it called, a recipient? Mm -hmm. I tagged Casey as a recipient and recipient? I said, recipient, right? <laughs> recipient, recipient. I don't know. So I tagged, Casey as a per, I tagged Casey as a person to deliver it and I said, damn, bro, she's so hot, or she's so beautiful. And I sent it to Casey on purpose, oh but on God. accident. And uh, from there she responded. I, I actually thought it was day. an accident until literally, I think Heidi was the one that brought it up like six months later. And I was like, Shali, what? Because I told Heidi and Christian after I did it, I was like, bro, like I just did this, like it worked. Like, and I was just like planning on never telling her, maybe telling her like eventually, like later on the line. I was so confused when I found out, but yeah. anyways, it worked. So guys, if you guys are ever looking for looking for a way to get in, or slide into a girl's DMs, but unintentionally do it, there's a way right there. All right, next question is, do you like your girlfriend's family? Does she like yours? Do I like my girlfriend's family? Yes, I do. I, love, I like them. I love them. I love them a lot. <laughs> I don't know what just really to say I love I like, but I, I like them a lot. I haven't really met a lot of Shali's family. I mean, like, you have a small family, I feel like. I have a pretty small, immediate family. It's like, it's his it's mom, his sister, which I love them. Yeah. And then, I've met, like, a couple of your cousins, but not, like, a lot. Yeah, I have a really small family. Like, I don't have, like, the traditional, like, American family. Like, everyone lives here. We have family reunions and all that stuff. Like, it's literally just me, my sister, and my mom, and then my dad occasionally, so... <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> this one says, are you a millionaire? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a different term for millionaire, but no, I'm not. For me, millionaire means that you have millions in the bank account. And I don't have millions in the bank account, so no, I'm not a millionaire yet. I'm close, but not there. And another one says, would you rather live with Christian or Max if you have to live with one? <laughs> so I have, I have, I've lived with Christian before. 2016 vibe. I lived with Christian for like a year almost at his first house before he moved into the house he lives in, he lives in now. And uh, it was me, Christian, and Javon. And um, it, was, it was chill. I would, I would live with Christian because... I feel like living with him, I adopted his like business tactics as far as like working till like one or two o'clock in the morning, editing my own YouTube videos, responding to the clients, just working nonstop and then waking up super early. I feel like that really helped me get, to get me, it really helped me get where I am, get me where I am today. But um, yeah, honestly, I feel like I'd rather live with Christian. I feel like Max is very animated. I love Max, he's a great person. I just feel like he's extremely animated and um, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I, I feel like I could live with both of them. That's a, that's a tough question. But if I were to pick one just because I've lived with someone before, I, I think I'd take Christian for sure. Okay, let's take a shot. This, this means it's about to be a very <laughs> disgusting question. So disgusting. I feel like the tipsy is not really going to kick in until after this is over. No, the tipsy is going to right now. Favorite sex position? Oh, God. oh here we go. <laughs> I think we'll take a shot. <laughs> take another one. Alright. <laughs> Shall 
Holy! Calm down. Here, do some drills. Make sure you zoom in on my eyes. <laughs> Anyways, honestly, man, I love doggy style, man. It's nothing better than him. Anyways, <laughs> better than him. next question. <laughs> Shawley. Why did that shit clap? <laughs> okay, you're cutting that. Right, you're cutting that. <laughs> Alright, next question. Wait, I have to answer your question. No, we don't. Hey, I do. I do why? It hurts. <laughs> it's already answered. Keep going. Keep going. That's disgusting. Okay, can I take one more shot? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up. You're Absolutely not. Alright, your body count. Huh? Your body count. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm really obsessed with Oh, I was like, I'm what not is that? that? Yeah. We've never actually talked about that in almost two years that we're, we've been dating and we'll never hey, okay. discuss that. Hey, tip. Don't ever answer that question. Don't ever answer that question. Or ladies. Don't ever talk about it. It's, it's, not good, it's good clickbait. You can put it in the, in the, um, in the thumbnail body count. No. Oh, okay. All right, next question. What attracts you the most about Casey? Uh, how our personalities kind of match. Like, I feel like we're, we're into the same things. And uh, I can toss her about anything. And like I said, we're like, in, to me, I've never been with someone who's like into the same things as me. Like, as far as like the hip hop, R&B culture, like she's a dancer, obviously, and she dances to like a lot of the music that I listen to, which is pretty cool. And I, music is a really big, like, honestly, like music is a really big, you guys may not, I mean, I obviously you guys say it because you guys always ask me for playlists and stuff like that, but like, Music is a really, really big part of my life. Like I, I listen. You can ask her. Like I'm never not listening to music. Like at home, I'm always playing music on my phone <laughs> or on the Amazon speaker. Like I'm always listening to music. Like I'm always listening to R and B. Like whatever I'm feeling. Like I'm feeling R and B, hip hop, uh, trap soul. Like I'm just always listening to music. So like to find someone who is interested, deeply interested in that genre of music. Um, with me is very big and um, I've never ever ever dated or talked to anyone that has had that or has shared that same interest as me um, ever in my entire life so I think that's really big um, that's, that's, a really, that's a really big tip but the thing is like it's, it sounds stupid but like I, no, really, I really enjoy music music yeah. helps me get my mind off a lot of things it helps me work it helps me like work out it helps me do a lot of things so like and you guys, Russell, and you guys, Russell, Matt, Alex, everyone that, all my friends, they're like, bro, like, Charlie, like, how do you work with blaring music in the background? Like, Charlie, you always have music playing. Charlie, you always have music playing in your stories. Like, I'm just like, I just love listening to music. I love hearing good music. Not like fucking country. I can listen to country some every now and then, but like, um, Hip hop and R&B is my shit, and the fact that she loves it and she dances to it is even more dope. So that's other than that's besides the point. She's beautiful, she's amazing, whatever. But like, music is definitely like a good thing for me. I'm drunk. Are you okay? Do you want water? I'm fucked up. Water. Yeah, I'm good. Ready? Mm-hmm. When are you gonna share the shoe plug? I share with you guys every fucking day. ShopPumpedUpKicks.com. He may not give you the same deal that he gives me, but he's gonna hook you up. Shoot him a message. Shoot him a DM. He might help you out, bro. Helps <laughs> me out. I got the Travis Scott Lowe's for a good ass price, man. Good ass price. Mm. <laughs> Look at that ankle mobility. Oh my god. Next question: Which era of LeBron is your favorite? Cleveland, Miami, or LA? Okay, that's just, that's a fucking amazing question. All right, so you know what's crazy? Twenty minutes later. He's playing better basketball than he's played in the last three or four years. So it's like amazing to me. But I, if I were to say that as a collective, I can't go ahead and like judge because he won two rings in Miami, right? Yeah, he won two rings in Miami. So like I can't go ahead and like predict the future. 
I think maybe if you ask me this like 10 years, I'll be able to come back and say maybe Lakers era is the best around. But like as of right now, um, uh, post Dallas Mavericks loss, Miami career, those two years where you went back to back, 100% best of my life. Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. All right, for both of you, what album would you choose to listen to for the rest of your life? Whoa. It would be a Chris Brown album. Really? Yeah. For me, it would. A Chris Brown album, but not this recent, the recent album, but the Heartbreak on a Full Moon. That was like the that was like the the center to it. She bought me tickets to that. Our first ever like big gift. She bought me tickets to that. Mm -hmm. It was July of 2018, and uh, we went to Chris Brown Heartbreak on Full Moon, his tour, and uh, that was probably the best concert I've been to in my entire life. Yeah. I'm trying to think of someone else. I really like Drake just, Scorpion as well. Yeah, I really like Summer Walker's new album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Summer Walker's album was very good. Yeah. I could. Is he between Heartbreak on the Full Moon or Summer Walker? Summer, like Summer, every for, as far as both of us, Summer Walker's <laughs> Summer Walker's album we both loved, and Chris Brown's Heartbreak on the Full Moon we both loved. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak on the Full Moon I've come to realize is better than the most recent one he came out with. We had that argument and I told him that. No, he's admitting it. No, it is. <laughs> yeah, we had that argument though. Whenever the second album or this past album just came out. Uh, what's, his, what's, his, what's his one called? Um, Indigo. Indigo, yeah. Indigo was all right. It was good, but it just wasn't as good as Heartbreak and Yeah. Are you happy where you're at in life? Yeah. I'm happy, but I'm not content. Mm -hmm. I, I still proud but never satisfied. I feel ooh, shout out to Christian. But I feel like uh, <laughs> for me, like I feel like my goal is obviously I still compete. Obviously, like my hobby is like competing and chasing that pro card and working on all that stuff. But I feel like right now, like man, when it comes to like setting up your future, when you're 27, everything kind of just like starts hitting different like you start thinking of things differently and i feel like lately well as in my 26 27 year old life i feel like i've been thinking more so of my future as opposed to like the clout and the attention that you get right now um there's a lot of clout chasers and a lot of people that seek attention in this very day and age today but i think right now i think my thing is like setting up a future for me um future wife, future family and all that stuff. My, my mom, my sister and all that stuff. So like um, my thing, my motive, my goal, my uh, motivation has switched more so from gaining a following, growing a following, all that stuff. To building like, a career. To building a career, building a business, building something that can last to out- Longevity. Building something that can outlast me and like support me and my family and my friends and all that stuff. So like, um, what was the question? <laughs> what was the question for? Are you happy? Are you happy? Oh yeah, I so like yeah, I'm I'm happy where I'm at. If you were to tell me in 2016, 20, or 2015 when Christian told me to pursue this full time, that I would be here today, I would laugh and slap me in the face. But the fact that I'm here today is kind of eye opening because like it's like fuck, like I really did that shit <laughs> and I'm here. So I think. Uh, we're in 20, we're about to go in 2020, that's crazy. So it's been five years since he had that conversation with me. About to be five years since he had that conversation with me. And that was at the first ever big Alphalete uh, gym opening. So yeah, um, I'm happy where I'm at, but I still want more. And that's the thing, a lot of people around me will congratulate me and tell me that they're happy with me and they're proud of what I've done. But for me, I don't see it, it's weird. I don't see like, I don't see this success. I don't see the progress. I see the progress. I don't see what they're seeing. I don't. I'm not happy about it. Like they're happy about it. I feel like there's so much more to accomplish, and I know there's so much more to accomplish. And um, I just think that there's a lot more to accomplish. I know I said that three times in a row, but next question. You can. I'm happy. I mean, kind of same thing. Never satisfied. Always looking for more. Always looking to grow. That's it. My last question. His, his answers are a lot longer than mine. 
because I don't really know you guys. You know him. But yeah. She's also not uncomfortable. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, she does, but she isn't talking. What's my YouTube channel. name? Casey Cardenas. Go follow. Go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's dance videos. Anyways. Last question is gonna be, how do you get over heartbreak? So. For a guy, from a guy's perspective, getting over heartbreak means like it's gonna suck for six months, Me like minimum. Six months. Six of, months. Yeah, six months of suffering for sure. Six months of no, not six months, but like. <laughs> we met very. We met. Well, I'm saying like, shortly after you and your ex broke up. A couple months, few months. Yeah, but I don't really talk about that. Because the thing is, with my ex, like, we were checked out. I was checked out of that. Okay, one. so that's where the six months. Sorry, I just had to confirm that. Yeah, 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 yeah. not you two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for, for four to six months, it's going to suck. And uh, you kind of have to deal with it. But I don't think you should put, you a, time, I don't think you should put a time limit on it, though. There's no, no, I'm just saying, like, I'm just giving you a, a general idea. For four to six months, you like it's going to suck. But after those four to six months, and, and during those four to six months, you just slowly start working on yourself. Find best, something. Best time of your life. Find something to take your mind mind away from that. Working out. Collecting shoes. Um, doing something that just you find fun that you you really like, enjoy doing. Um, something that kind of just keep your mind off of that previous person. And eventually, like as as it becomes a routine. As the days go, as the months go, you start to forget about that person more and more and more, and then one day you wake up and you're just like, damn, I don't really give a fuck about that person at all. And then you're like, fuck, like I'm free. It's like, you, you always come to this moment where like, you're like, damn, I'm free. Like, I don't care about that person anymore. Like, I'm free, like, I'm happy. And then there, I mean, prior to that, you probably like have hookups or whatever. Like, but at that moment, you're like, damn, I can actually commit to someone else and uh, start a new relationship. So, like, um, it may happen shorter for a lot of people, especially if you've checked out in that previous relationship prior to breaking up officially. But uh, for people that who like are broken up with, I think that's the more so the, the case. If you're broken up with and you're heartbroken for real, for real, uh, four to six months of just mourning and being sad and working on yourself, Jesus. Which is really more than more. It's a happy question. <laughs> I think that like um, that's where you need to like. Just kind of focus on building yourself and growing and and finding what you love and then you find someone who supports you, who supports your new hobby or your new your new uh, obsession and y'all just grow together so that's it just live your life i think i'm very happy now with Shali, but being single is also some of the best times of your life and some of the best moments of your life because you're just able to do what you want and not have to worry about anyone else. So just enjoy it. Find interest, stay busy. I hung out with friends almost every single day. Just try to like, what he said, stay in the gym every single day. Like just finding new hobbies and things to kind of keep your mind off of it. And then before you know it, you're already meeting the next person that you're meant to be with, which was kind of what happened with us. I was not expecting to get into another relationship whenever I met him. And now this is what happened. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q and A. It was a little quick get to know us kind two of. Two years, guys. It's been two years. We've never done a Q and A. Two years. Of two years in February. Yeah, two years in February of us dating, and uh, we've never done a Q and A together. And I feel like it was definitely time to do it. We both felt like it was time to do it. And what better place to do it than Cabo? You guys saw the scenery. You guys saw everything. Um, be on the lookout for another vlog uploading sometime this week, wherever Sam decides to do it. But uh, we'll be recording tomorrow, which will be a very fun vlog. We'll be a lot of, we're gonna see whales, we're gonna swim with whales. We're gonna like go up to like whales' mouths and like touch them, but like not let them swallow We're not us. doing that, anyways. Like 30 feet, like fucking We're not doing whales. that. Like big ass whales, we're gonna like go touch them and shit. And then we're doing boat rides, we're doing like parasailing. There's a lot of shit that we're gonna get on camera. That's gonna be really fun. And if you're looking forward to like if you're, if you're someone who's thinking about Cabo, you're going to want to watch the next vlog. So this is like a little teaser warm-up vlog.
for this cargo trip. The next video is going to be wild. So uh, as always, thank you guys for subscribing, um, sharing, liking, commenting, um, and I'll see you all the next one. Peace.